For one, I just want to make a really quick introductory video for this week. So this week we're going to continue reading about and studying the history of slavery in America. Um, the first reading for this week is medical or is an excerpt from Medical Apartheid, a book by Harriet H. H. Washington. Um, I'm sorry, Harriet A. Washington, I think. I should check that, my apologies. Um, but it's a fantastic book that really centers on the looking at the ways um, the medical industry has been harmful to African Americans, right? So really centering kind of uh, African American bodies in the history of racism and um, medical oppressions. Um, so this research is really heavy and really dark. So I just want to give you, I know I mentioned the trigger warning in my syllabus, but this particular history is very, very dark. So I just want to kind of offer up that uh, trigger warning yet again. Um, but I also think it's really important. And I think that this component of slavery is sometimes not discussed. And particularly this chapter is going to look at the ways enslaved black women were really harmed differently because of their reproduction, right? And that their reproduction was allowing s slavery to continue when um, the uh, transatlantic slave trade ended at the beginning of the 1800s, right? And so um, their bodies become the producers of more property, more slaves. And so their treatment is slightly different. And I think this chapter does a really wonderful job of really examining that, right? And centering enslaved black women in this history. Um, you're also going to continue reading um, and thinking about slavery through a primary source by Frederick Douglass. I think a really important um, one of my favorite speeches by Frederick Douglass that really was kind of looking at um, studying, or I'm sorry, kind of his perspective on the 4th of July. And I think, you know, we are studying this in the summer. We just had the 4th of July. And I think it's an important kind of uh, expression of who was really free in this country. Um, and um, that's something you might want to consider thinking about, uh, talking about in your uh, weekly thought journal, right? Um, okay. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about is more procedural. So you're going to be starting your um, lesson plan assignment this week. You will be doing the very first initial assignment from it, just getting me some topics that you're interested in. I want to hear about two topics. You're going to write two separate paragraphs about those topics. Give me some reasons why you wanted to study those particular topics. If you have questions about, you know, what resources are out there or a ways of narrowing your topic, you can also discuss those in this initial assignment in your actual paragraph so that I can kind of respond to your questions. Um, please look at those instructions. And if you have any questions before um, completing that assignment, feel free to email me. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, but also feel free to, you know, I want you to study something that you're interested in for this assignment. So pick something you're really excited about looking into, diving a little deeper and doing a bit of research. That's pretty much all I have for this week. If Again, as always, if you need me, please feel free to send me an email. Um, we can all, I can answer questions via email or I'm happy to set up a virtual meeting um, where we could chat about any questions you might have. So um, that's it. I hope you have a wonderful week and please let me know if you need anything. Bye.